All right, hey, how are you? You're looking about buying a reverse osmosis system, you wanna learn more about it, or you're one of my employees and you're here to learn how they work so you can teach the public about reverse osmosis. Now, we love products that are NSF 58 listed. I don't think any of these old guys are. If you're looking online and you find this, yes, at Angel Water, we do sell them. We don't like selling them because they're not NSF 58 listed. NSF 58 stands for National Sanitation Foundation. 58 refers to the fact that they threw, that not-for-profit, threw thousands of gallons of water at this, and it did remove the toxins out of the water. Some of the top two toxins that are on in the internet right now that you can see in news reports is Forever Chemicals. Yes, that's the stuff like I'm standing on right now, which is carpet that has 3M treatment on it, or it could be Teflon from DuPont. These are toxic chemicals that since the 60s were manufactured and what happened with them? Well, we threw them old carpet away in the dumpster and the garbage and guess what? It got into the water supply. So that's Forever Chemicals. Also, when you make steel, a byproduct of steel is hexavalent chromium-6. So hexavalent chromium-6, is a, uh, their movie was produced about that. That's called um, Aaron Brockovich story, which Julia Roberts won her Best Actress uh, Award for. And if you want to learn more about Forever Chemicals, you can go ahead and see Dark Waters. Mark, Ruff Mark Ruffalo did that movie. Phenomenal movies, okay? Amazing blockbuster movies. And it talks about how in those areas people got sick, but we're talking this stuff is nationwide. That's why Erin Brockovich is on a, uh, she goes on a tour all over the country to talk to people to raise awareness of hexavalent chromium-6. And right now, I don't think you can get open the newspaper without an article being written right now on Forever Chemicals, because it's literally everywhere. Now, if you want those toxins out of the body, I'm a big advocate of it because as you might recall from any of my videos, I talk about how we become water. Yes, if I drink this water in four minutes, I become that water droplet, right? That's crazy. We're 60, 70% water, our brains are 90% water. Also, our bodies are one big filter, right? I inhale air, what happens? My lungs filter out, filter the oxygen, puts that into my blood. If I drink water, if I eat food, obviously in four minutes, if I drink water, become the glass of, become water. If I eat a banana in four hours, I'm that banana. So I'm a big advocate because my background is in healthcare that we should get the food and the water we drink as clean as possible. And my passion now is about really removing the toxins out of the water because there's so much information. You go online and these guys, there's guy after guy with this kind of system and they say they're NSF 58 listed. And when you go to National Sanitation Foundation website, they're liars. Oh my God, the lying, the deception. I feel like I'm in the used car industry from the 1970s. So my job is because we sell any make and model of water equipment. My job is to actually help pair a certified product to take out the toxins that are in your water. And if you're looking to get out hexavalent chromium-6 or forever chemicals or radium-228, 226, barium, trihalomethylenes, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We would want an NSF 58 certified reverse osmosis system. And now I want to also explain why we want, you know, how does the RO take that stuff out? Now, real quickly, again, I want to stress the importance of we become what we drink, right? Or we have uh, a stomach, an esophagus, a liver, a kidney, pancreas. We've got all these organs that are designed to absorb what you take and make it part of you. So, where my healthcare background comes from, which is, by the way, in the pharmaceutical world, it seems logical to me, and if you agree with me, great, but it seems logical that I wouldn't want any toxins in anything I consume. Because if my bodies and my organs absorb what I ate or drank, then why would I ever want them to absorb a toxin? Even if the federal government said, hey, this is a level that's okay for the human body, by the way, they set that standard for a man 180 pounds. So what happens if you're under that? What happens if you're over that? What happens if you're a child? By the way, oh, right there, 
every single water authority that produces water, the EPA mandates that they send out a letter with what's in the water. And one of the qualifiers in everyone's water report says the same thing. If you are an infant, if you're elderly, if you have immune uh, compromised body, if you're taking, if you're on, have a cancer if you, issue, if you're taking radiation, chemotherapy, do not drink the city water, consult with your doctor. Hmm, consult with your doctor. I did that. So when my dad was sick and in the hospital, I talked to the doctors. I said, you're giving him tap water. Is that correct? Do you guys reverse osmosis the water? And they go, I don't know what you're talking about. I showed them the document from Hoffman Estates and said this, my, the hospital was in Hoffman Estates, and I said, this is what it says. The water report that's sent to your hospital says if your health is, is compromised, talk to your doctor. So I'm talking to you. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. EPA and the government says, talk to the doctor. The doctor says, I don't know what they're talking about. Who's stuck in the middle? Well, you and me. So this is why my goal is to empower you with information, empower you with an understanding so that you can fight for your own health. Now that said, how do we do that, right? Well, first of all, you can find out what's in your water by going to the ewg.org website, tap water database, click on that guy and enter your zip code and they'll show you the toxins that are in your water. Now, in most cases, in some cases, they're below EPA standards and some they're not. So you would wanna take a look at those and see what's in your water. Then my job, by you telling me, <laughs> is to take those toxins out. So what do I have to do? I have to research what's out there that works. And I can just tell you, this stuff we did sell. In fact, you can see our sticker on it. We sold it, and today we don't. This is made in Taiwan, the manifold. Everybody has the same thing, and uh, it's not BPA free. And the reality is the whole unit is not certified. And here's what happens. I, at one point, I demanded that the membrane be a, uh, an osmonics membrane, which was NSF 58 listed. So I'd have the manufacturers make it. One day, we got them, and, the, and wouldn't you know it, by the way, those cost more money, we open the sucker up, and inside we find a Korean-made membrane that's like this big, and little dinky little thing, and it, I don't even know if it ever even, ever even filtered the water correctly. Now, who felt bad? Me. Why did I feel bad? Because I sold these systems to customers saying that they are certified, the membrane certified to take out the toxins. Well, out goes those units. We do have them, but we really don't want to sell them. They hit a low price point. But boy, when it comes to your health and welfare or your family's health and welfare, can you real, do you really want to go cheap? So we barely ever sell any. I think the only time that happens is if a builder wants to throw one in for a house. And even then, Usually, I tell my staff, have me call them because I'd like to switch them to a NSF certified RO system. Now, this is a phenomenal filter system we, we have. It's called Pure Assure. And so what we do is we run, first of all, you can see this is a manifold. And you can see it's actually called pre-filter. So the water comes in and goes through carbon. Carbon is designed to absorb the chlorine out of the water and take out some basic contaminants. This is what carbon looks like in water. Look how dark that gets. But basically, it bites at the water droplet. So again, if this is the water droplet coming through the system and it comes through this carbon, what's happening is that the teeth are biting at the water droplet. Pretty cool, right? Sort of bites at it, like teeth like that. This is why this has to be changed every year. Yes. The internet is filled with people who say this stuff is gonna last forever. You never need to change the filters. Baloney, any air filter, any water filter has to be cleaned and checked and sanitized and replaced regularly. So please, that's the first red flag if anyone says that to you. So anyhow, this absorbs the chlorine out of the water. Then it's gonna travel down through the membrane. Now here's the hub of the system or the most important part of the system is the membrane. Now we cut this in half so you can see. As that water droplet comes from the outside, you can see the semi-permeable membrane right there. It pushes itself through. As it does that, we squeeze that water droplet just like this, and we basically are ripping everything off that water droplet. All those impurities, 
all those chemicals, anything that's more or less toxic. Then what happens is the clear water goes up through the middle and out into the manifold to go down into the holding tank. Now, the wastewater or the excess water comes on the outside and then down to the drain. And here you can see we have a red little uh, arrow here or a little uh, nib here and the water, the dirty water goes there. Now this is a system that is has a one-to-one -one ratio. So a lot of people will call me and say, I don't want to buy reverse osmosis. What I learned was that you waste 20 gallons of water to every gallon you make. Yeah, in the 1970s, they did that. And when companies are trying to sell carbon filters only and they claim they do all this stuff, they say there's zero wastewater. Even Mark Cuban, he's selling a system. Uh, he backed a company that has a inline little filter that goes under the sink and goes to the kitchen cold. Well, it's not reverse osmosis, which means it is not capable of taking out. It's not certified for taking out hexavalent chromium-6 or forever chemicals, which is toxic to the body. So that said, I love having a membrane because then we, have, we do have wastewater that goes down and it's one-to-one -one ratio. For every gallon of clean water, it's wasting one gallon of dirty water, which in the whole scheme of things, when we're looking at your house, an average human being uses 60 gallons of water per day. That's in hand washing, taking a shower, washing your hands, uh, doing laundry, doing dishes. So is really, if you drink two gallons of water and two go down the drain out of 60, is that that bad? No, it's not. Again, that old claim is because old ROs did that, but today they don't. So just to be clear on that. Now, as that water's left that membrane, it then goes in this holding tank where it sits. And half of this is air with a rubber bladder and the other half is water. So what happens is as you turn on a faucet, it pushes the water out and then down through what's called a post filter, which is another carbon filter to make it taste good. Make sure that the flavor is right. Then if you want an optional filter, guess what? There is now an invention of alkaline filter. The only one that we've found is made by Eco Water. So we sell it with our Pure Clear system, our Pure Sure system. So this system is going to now add the minerals that is needed. It's a remineralizing filter so that it then gets the water from 7.0 pH, which by the way, our bodies are situated for 7.0 pH or 7.5, and it raises the alkalinity of that water to 9.5 to 10. So regularly, it lasts about a year. So now you don't have to buy a $5,000 Kangen machine to make alkaline water. Here you have a, a simple post-mineral filter that does an amazing job for making the water more alkaline. Now, alkaline water supposedly is making your cells stronger so that it acts like an antioxidant or kicks out the bad stuff that's in your cellular structure. That said, I'm not God, I'm not a doctor, so I don't wanna make any claims, but what I can say is that we can test it and we can say that the water has moved from 7.0 after it's gone through an RO about to 9.5 to 10, which is usually what people are looking for. Now, if that's something that you want, certainly contact us. We're here to answer any questions you have. We get a lot of video or a lot of YouTube requests to say, hey, what about this company? What about that company? What about this company? Basically, you can all go to nsf.org. There you can check the product box to check a product's uh, certification, and then you can enter the name. And I can't tell you how many of you have sent me names from Aquasana to all these other things that are looking for certification and they're not there. So you buyer beware, do your homework, ask for that certification, go on the NSF website to see if it's there. That's one of the key components to make sure that your system is going to remove the toxins out of your water. To me, that's where the value is. Now, Again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Our goal here is to be able to help bring healthier water to you and your family. I'm Drew, I'm here to serve you.